coming through here. A lot of hand signals that we are very, very close. Fingers crossed. In particular, Danny Stockman on the two car. I just checked with him. He said if we get the same fuel mileage as earlier in the race, we can make it to the end right now. Bad news for the competition if that happens. They've upgraded that because yeah. we heard on the radio we're two laps short, and now here we are with 35 remaining. Maybe and that, that might be the, the crew chief number. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. I'll tell you this, he's still nervous. I don't care uh, what yeah. he said, he's still nervous. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of it comes down to the fueler, too. Like, the, how how well did they pack that tank yes. on the last stop? Right? If you look a little bit out, that might have been the difference. Yeah. It's so different than when you're at the, you know, at the uh, gas station with your car. You, know, you, you fill it until it gets full. You give it a couple extra clicks with the gas pump. You need a good gas man that gave it a little bit extra there. And yeah, then a couple top. clicks on this one, for sure. It's going to be really close. And I tell you what, if it stays green, guys, it's going to get very interesting. If cars start running out of gas or you, you decide you have to pit, what if this thing's one on pit road with two to go and everyone's on pit road or somebody goes for it and stays out and tries to make it happen? It could get really crazy at the end of this thing. Now, they can make it if they continue to slow the pace down. Uh, speed is the enemy of fuel mileage, right? So if they slow down a little bit, they will get inside their fuel number. And the pace has slowed down another step right now. They're now running 30 to 90, so about a second slower than their fastest laps. That's going to help them. But eventually, you get going slow enough, Joey, you get passed. Absolutely. And, and that's what's keeping everything pretty much single file, guys. Everyone watching their homes there. Why aren't we super speed we're racing too wide? Well, they're all saying, shoot, we got to finish. we got to get to the end of this thing and save some gas. So that's why you see this single file, everyone trying to be you know, as disciplined as possible so they have some gas to race with at the end of this thing. So on the pylon, how many laps Jesse Love has led here today? 120 out front. All the niggers led eight. But that was through strategy. I mean, this, this day for Jesse Love has been incredible. You see it's back in there now. The one thought, too, is he's running these longer races for the first time in his career, coming up from ARCA. Do you have the mental process to finish a race at this level? How difficult is that as you graduate up through the ranks in NASCAR? I, I think he's got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, the kids come out of the gates here pretty strong. I know it's a couple different super speed races, and the tracks will be different as we continue along here. But... You know, his team does a good job of giving him a good car. That's Well, that's half the battle. The, the driver is the other half of the equation. And, you know, so far, he's taken, yes, a great car, possibly, most, I, I would say definitely is the best car on the racetrack. But he's also done a great job of maintaining control of this race. And, and the other things that have been thrown at him, right? You still have to execute on pit road. You still got to you know, execute these restarts. You remember, he was on the bottom lane. He had to execute that part of the draft. He's done a great job up to this point. Yeah, I haven't seen a moment that's too big for him yet. Riley Herb, second right now. Still by half. Just keep looking at his right rear. If he gets lazy, he's still by half. Still by half. <laughs> they know that the leader has slowed down the pace. Now, just bet it back up this lap. Went from 3190s to 3160s. And I can totally tell you, as a driver, guys listening at home, guys and gals listening at home, when you feel that pressure behind you, like, you know, maybe I won't say for a lap or two. You know, when you fell out at 98 car getting close to his rear bumper and maybe trying to slip down something we just heard on the radio communication, he's going to run a few faster laps and then slow it back down again. And where this is going to change up, I think, is is the first crew chief to say, yes, we're good to go. We got it. They're going to be the first one to be able to hammer down and, and capitalize and maybe make up some track position. If, so maybe the most aggressive saver can be the most aggressive one moving back through the field because they can go back wide open the soonest. But, Brad, we already talked about that too, so they're not really slowed down that much. They're not saving that much. The pace has been too fast. Let's look at some numbers for Riley Hurst. Going back to last year, he's been on fire. Six consecutive top tens. Had a run of top fives to end last year. Got his first career win at his home track, Las Vegas, last fall. And here he is today, running second, doing exactly what he's been doing the last few months and feeling confident. It's his birthday. He's going back home next week. The planets are aligning for Driver 98, I feel like. Yeah, and keep in mind, Vegas is where he got his first career in Astros for the series. Yeah. So I bet he's super pumped about that. Austin <laughs> Hill. He's been here before. See him sawing on the wheel right there. That, that just goes to show you that these cars are not driving. Great, they're, they're not just cruising out there, I can promise you. This is the Bennett Transportation Onboard Camera, been at a local company here in Georgia. 16 laps to go. Austin Hill is fifth, his teammate out front. And Brandon Jones just behind Hill. A little kick.
kiss for the ball here for the nine. He's working that outside lane. And Jones getting the wall. A bit of contact there for our nine car. You guys have mastered that telestrator. Brad really loves it. Brad's on hitting all the buttons up there. I'd like to end the year, make the championship four. High hopes for him. And this is third season. starts here. All just gaggled together. They're waiting for that move at the end. Yeah, last lap time, 